Hey YouTube, welcome back to Glenn's Speed Shop. We're going to take a quick walk around the shop this morning. And the question of the day is, what do all of these vehicles have in common? Like the step van, like the mystery machine, like a generator, like a golf cart, like old trucks. Well, they all have batteries in them. And if you have as many vehicles as I have, you have a lot of batteries and you're always out of batteries. The other thing is you're always questioning if your batteries are any good. Here's a quick example. My little Honda truck. Yeah, it's got a battery. My little electric car under the cover there has uh, eight six volt batteries. The little golf cart sitting next to it has six six volt batteries. What about the bus? It's got two great big 8D starter batteries, plus two house batteries. It's got four batteries in it. The Red Tracker, it's got a battery. The John Deere's got a battery. What about my shop truck? It's got a battery. What about my Super Duty? It's got two batteries, plus one in the camper. There's three batteries in my Super Duty. Black Tracker, it's got a battery. And my three speaker towers, all three of those have batteries in them. Well, and they sit most of the time, especially all winter. I try and keep them charged. You see, I got an extension cord back there. But I need those things to work when I take them, you know, when I'm DJing car shows and such, they've got to work. So I need to check the battery before I go. How do we do that? Have you priced new batteries recently? They just keep going up and up and up. This is a co collection of batteries that I have currently. Um, this one I just took out of my zero turn mower. It's not that old. This is one that came out of a used mower and it has it's questionable in its health. Um, I bought one of these uh, thinking it would fit my Honda truck, but it did not. And then I bought three of these uh, off of Marketplace. How do you know if you're buying used batteries like I do? Remember, I got those three towers out there. It does not pay me to buy new batteries for those and then let them sit out there for 10 months out of the year. Um, I am way better off just to put a used battery in it that's already maybe a year or two old if I can get them for a good price. And I got to tell you, I got three of these for 25 bucks a piece. Um, and that's a great buy. But when I went to buy them, just because they're pretty doesn't mean they work. And it still makes me a little nervous even spending $25 on a battery that may or may not be any good. But what do you do? Well, King Bolin has this battery analyzer. This is a model number BM580. And it has a quick function you can just hook it up to the battery with the clips that are connected to the machine and test the state of health of the battery and its cold cranking amp ability and that's what i really really need now it also does charging system analyzing and so forth everything is in this tiny little manual Let's hook it up to some batteries and see what happens. Okay, we're going to hook up to this battery. This battery, um, I had this thing kicking around here for uh, maybe two years now. And it uh, has got a tag on it, 7 of 20. So this battery is, what, three and a half years old. Because it's 2024 now. It's almost four years old. And uh, it hasn't been charged in months. Um, it's something I'm going to use in one of my projects. Um, it's just kind of been sitting around. Once in a while I'll grab it and jump start something with it. But probably should be recharged. Which means I don't expect this thing to be 100% charged. Let's hook it up see what the machine tells us about it. So I connected the leads to it, and as it comes up, this is the menu that you'll get. And uh, the first icon is a is to check the battery. Um, the next is a waveform. 
um, it basically graphs out the voltage for you. So if you had this battery in your vehicle and it was running, it would graph out the voltage. It would watch your charge system effectively. And playback means this thing will actually store that waveform for you and you could play it back so that you could go in and start the car, run it, and then come back and play it back. Okay. Um, this is to manage your playback records. This is set up so you could change the language and various things. And then finally is a multimeter. It's kind of a voltmeter. And we'll use this here in a second. We'll go out and hook it up to my car. And I'll show you what that does. It basically just has a like a sliding voltmeter where you can just watch in real time what your uh, charge system is doing. So let's just go. We won't go through every option of this little machine but uh, we'll click through this so we just want to check the battery right so i've i've questioned the battery or i've gone somewhere to purchase a, a used battery or you've just bought a used car and you want to see if the battery is any good we're just going to check the battery if you got six or 12 volt we're going to arrow down to 12 volt hit okay quick check is it in the vehicle or out of the vehicle and it's out of the vehicle. So it's a regular flooded battery, but if it was an AGM or an AGM spiral cell, you know, like an Optima battery or something, or a gel cell or anything like that, you would select which one is appropriate. This is just a regular old battery, and we're gonna check the cold cranking amps. Okay. It's gonna ask what it's rated for, and this one's rated at 625. Oop, there it is, 625. If it was different, you would just change it. But this is 625 is what this rated at. It says so right on top of the battery. Okay. Click OK. Okay. It says the state of health, SOH, state of health. That's what your electric cars and stuff will tell you as your batteries degrade. This battery is degraded, and it's the state of health is at 56%. Now, we should probably charge this battery and then recheck it, but I agree that this battery is not great. And then it also says uh, we have cold cranking amps at 469. Okay. Not quite 625, is it? Okay. Let's try a different battery. All right, I've got it connected to this guy right now. And this is a fairly new battery. So this is uh, just slightly over a year old. And it's 500 cold cranking amps. So let's zoom in on this again and see what we get. All right, we'll do a quick check. Now, this battery's charged. Should be, should be great. Okay. And it's out of vehicle. And it's a regular flooded battery. Cold cranking amps. Okay. And it says we're at 600 and... Oh, yeah. I got to set it. Oh, this is a 500 cranking amp battery. So we'll go down. Arrow down. To 500. Okay. Says we have zero state of health. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. And again, I bought this battery on Marketplace. But I didn't have a tester. I assumed it was good. And I charged it when I got home. What in the world? So, this would have paid for itself. In one purchase so I just grabbed a voltmeter to confirm and uh, my voltmeter said 11.36 this one's saying 11.4 um, I paid $50 for that battery because it was just a year old and I thought it would fit my Honda truck so I'm just out 50 bucks that's all there is to it let's hook up to another battery all right, I'm connected to the next battery. State of health is at 100%. Cold cranking amps uh, are as 
specified. So it says on the battery 550. That's what I told the machine it was. And uh, if you can read that. And this is the battery. It's actually dated to 11 and 22. So that's the battery we're connected to at the moment. And it says 580 cranking amps, which is above its rating. Let's go hook this up to my car. So this is my daily driver. 99 Chevy Tracker, standard 2 liter 4 banger. Um, got 225,000 miles on it. The battery in it um, stated 9 to 21. So it's about three and a half years old. I haven't had any issues with it. Um, and it says it's 625 cranking amps. So we got the battery connected. And this time we're going to go to the uh, multimeter. And we're going to see what the voltage is when we start it up. So we're going to scroll through the menu. I hope you can see this okay. We're outside. Okay. Hit okay. It's going to ask 6 or 12 volt. We're going to tell it it's 12 volt. And then you can see that white line right there, hopefully. Yep. There, that's probably better. And uh, you can see we're like at 12 and a quarter volts. So that's a good spot to be in. Let me fire it up and we'll look again. All right, engine running. And now you can see we're just about 14 volts. Creeping up just a little bit, almost 14 and a quarter volts. And that's great. That's right where it should be. Okay. So let's go back. This is the back button here. I'll go back. And let's do a check. Because I haven't checked the battery. I'll do a standard check. For the 12 volt. This time it's in the vehicle. It's the charging test. So 14.25 volts, and it's nice and clean. Start the engine to 25 and then press OK. Well, I can't do all that while we're filming, but let's see what it says. Loaded at 14.05 volts, unloaded at 14.24. Result, normal. Good. So let's back up. Alright, I'm going to test the battery as if it was out of the vehicle. I'm going to shut it off. Well, look at the result. Um, I should unhook the battery and run this test again. Because right now it's saying the state of health of the battery is 77%. And my cold cranking amps is 648 and this battery is rated at 625 so 548 cranking amps which should be at 625 but the state of health at 77 percent it, it, it's kind of okay but it's telling me that battery's not at 100 percent so knowing that and knowing I've got a table full of, well, almost a table full of good batteries, we already determined one of them might be junk. This one, I'm not saying is junk, but this one might be just fine in one of my speaker towers. I don't know that I want it in my daily driver. And without this machine, I wouldn't know that. I, I'm actually surprised at this. I thought the battery in this car was great, but clearly it's not. Let's go back inside. Well, this is real world, boys and girls. Um, we tested a few batteries and uh, actually had a couple surprises. Um, even the battery in my daily driver is 
not the battery I thought it was. So this battery tester is available on Amazon and it's only like 30 bucks. If I'd have had this battery tester when I went to look at that $50 battery, I would have put this machine on the battery and I wouldn't have bought it, which would have paid for another tester. Ugh. Well, and knowing that my daily driver battery is already at 77%, you know, I could probably make it through the summer okay, but this winter I need to replace it, if not before, or start looking through these batteries I have on the bench and uh, find a newer one and swap it out. So, guys, uh, this King Bullen BM580, look for it on Amazon. I'm going to throw a link in the description below. Um, I appreciate them uh, sending me one of these. Um, I, you will definitely see me use this thing a lot. I mean, you've seen my channel. You know I buy lots of Lana Garden tractors. They all need batteries. I have bought seven, eight, seven, eight, maybe nine new batteries, mostly Lana Garden tractor batteries um, so far this year. Plus, I bought all these used ones. I go through a lot of batteries. I should have had one of these a long time ago. Guys, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate that. Thumbs up on the way out. But share this with a friend that's in the same boat that you and I are in. Because we own, we own all this stuff with all these batteries. And we don't know what the condition of our batteries are without a machine to tell us. Again, it's around $30 on Amazon. Link in the description below. And we'll see you guys on the next video.